dogs, known as a man's first and best friend. They love their humans and want to be their fierce protectors. Dogs often tolerate human behavior because they are loyal and easygoing. However, as much as dogs love us, they wish we could stop doing some things. Let's try to keep our companions happy by avoiding doing this. Number 10. Yelling at them As any of us, your dog doesn't like to be yelled at or harshly punished. Yelling and punishments can actually upset or scare your dog. Since fear does not equal respect, this will not strengthen your relationship with your dog. Dogs might not understand what we are saying, however, you can be sure that they sense your emotions, be it positive or negative. Plus, these methods won't help in the long run because your dog becomes desensitized. He'll do whatever he wants in the end and your effort to correct him will be in vain. Positive reinforcement is the way to go. Training is key to both correcting a bad behavior and teaching your friend how to react in certain situations. Giving your dog a direct command is more likely to work than a stop it. Be sure to reward him when he complies. This way he'll understand that this new behavior is good and he did a good job. Number 9. Being alone all the time. If you're looking for a pet that will be happy spending hours alone, a dog probably isn't the right choice. Too much alone time can cause stress and unwanted behaviors, which is why you should consider if it is fair to get a dog beforehand. Dogs are social creatures who generally hate being left alone. Some dogs even develop separation anxiety and that is obviously not healthy for them. Of course we all have to work, however, you'll need to make sure that your dog has a daily routine, plenty of exercise and some quality time with you. If you're going away for a few days and can't take your dog with you, get a responsible friend to take care of him. You won't have to worry about your little friend and he'll be grateful. Number 8. Being sad Dogs are very sensitive creatures. They sense when you're sad or angry and can even mimic this behavior. Others could get bored or frustrated and act out because they are not getting enough attention or exercise. As much as this might be a difficult period for you, try to ensure your dog gets the daily routine he needs. Therapy dogs are a big help to people that need emotional assistance. Why not get a friend that will be by your side and help you in the bad and good moments? Number 7. Lack of a routine A routine is essential for your dog. He'll want to have a good behavior to satisfy and protect his humans. The problem is, he won't know how to best behave if you don't teach him. When implementing boundaries and rules, you need to be firm, no exceptions allowed, otherwise your dog will be confused. Additionally, not knowing what the limit is might stress your dog as well. Positive reinforcement will help your dog understand what is acceptable and what is not. Your pet sees you as a leader. Try giving him clear commands and rewarding him when his behavior is the one you're looking for. If you're not lucky with this method, there's no shame in seeking help from a professional. Number 6. Forced Socialization Like us humans, dogs also have their favorite friends and their enemies. Some dog owners don't understand this and end up forcing their dog to interact with dogs or people they don't like. Our friends give us cues and we should be able to read them and respect their needs. Of course, some dogs might be shy or fearful and we just want to help them develop necessary social skills. However, knowing the difference between gentle boundary pushing and forcing an interaction is vital for your dog's safety and sanity. Don't forget that your job is to care for and protect your dog, and if you push him too far in a situation like this, he will react negatively. Worse than this, your dog will lose its trust in you and might even make a negative association with a park or a certain dog or person. To resume, you should always try to read your dog's reaction when interacting with others. Number 5. Arguing in front of them I'm sure you've already seen your dog react when you are playfully fighting with someone. Truth is, you won't know the difference between a real argument or a fake one and you're just aggravating him for no reason. Your dog is your brave warrior. He will protect his family as much as possible. He'll be very confused when he sees mom and dad fighting. I mean, who should he protect first, right? Avoid fighting in front of your dog. You will aggravate him and can even end up being harmed by him. Number 4. A tight leash 
Imagine you go to a park just for leisure and someone covers your eyes not allowing you to see the beautiful picture. This is how dogs feel when you don't allow them to smell and explore things. Dogs use their nose to interpret the world as we do with our eyes. Sometimes we are in a rush and treat the walks as an obligation and not as a right off for your dog. Your little friend needs a walk to exercise and absorb nature. It's a good idea to change routes once in a while and dedicate one of the daily walks to the leisure of your dog. These walks are a great opportunity for your dog to get some of the mental and sensory stimulation that keeps life interesting for him. A tip to help your dog differentiate a normal walk from a relaxed walk is to use a different harness when going out. I can already imagine his little tail going from side to side with excitement. In this walk, try to move slowly and let your dog decide how much time he needs to smell a certain spot. Number 3. Ignoring them after a new baby arrives. Big changes in a dog's life could lead to periods of depression. Imagine you're the king of the house and then all of a sudden a little human shows up and steals all of the attention from you. It's natural that dogs start acting out in this situation. It's his way of getting your attention. Though life with a newborn is beyond overwhelming, if you lose your bond with your dog, you might find yourself contemplating giving him away. The best way to cope with this situation is to introduce the baby to your dog, including your dog on the walks you take with the baby, and you can even try to take a nap with him. Essentially, your dog just needs a bit of attention and love. He'll retribute with understanding and lots of kisses. Number 2. Meal Interruption what would you do if someone kept touching or bothering you while you eat? Exactly, dogs don't like it either. Dogs can become quite aggressive if you touch them while they're eating. Ideally, only disturb an eating dog when an emergency comes up, and do so with a verbal command to call him to you. Number 1. Fragrance A dog's sense of smell is about 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than a human's. Because of this, you should be very careful with strong fragrances and chemicals around them. This can bother them and even irritate their noses. If you need to use a product with a strong fragrance, it's best to do so away from your dog. What if your dog needs a medical spray applied? Well, in this case, you should avoid his face. A pro tip is to spray any topical treatments onto a cloth and then apply them to your pets to limit their potential olfactory offense. As a rule, it's best to avoid directly spraying your dog with anything. That's it guys! If you have any tips for the other dog parents, share them with me in the comment section. See you in the next video!